Today we're going to review Mountain Queen, the summits of Lakpa Sherpa, and uh, I'm just going to read it right off of the uh, uh, the review here. Is that uh, this is a 2023 American documentary film directed by Lucy Wallace, and it follows Lak Lakpa Sherpa as she climbs and survives Mount Everest. But it's also the background story about how she even got there. Uh, because quite frankly, uh, this is, was before she started summiting uh, Mount Everest and other mountains. Uh, this was not a world that women were allowed in. Right. And uh, I just want to say one other thing before I turn it over to John. Uh, I've been following her just accidentally for about seven or eight years on, on Facebook. Really? Uh, and we've never exchanged more than a, a like or a... Uh, I mean, I knew she was a single mother of two who climbed mountains. And I just found her fascinating, but I didn't know the backstory. And uh, uh, I'll, I'll update that in a moment. But anyway, uh, she is fascinating. And uh, her story is, to me, absolutely riveting. Maybe part of it is that I, I thought I knew her. I certainly knew of her. Uh, but... One of the hints of the, I mean, I'm not giving away anything. This, I think, only came out July 31st on Netflix. It was in the theaters, which I guess it means that it'll be eligible for Oscars. It had like 100% Rotten Tomatoes and 97% audience. I mean, it's really gotten high praise. Uh, but it, I thought, uh, my wife and I watched it together, and I, I thought it was a wonderful way to tell her story. Uh, well, it is an extraordinary story. Uh, and uh, and this is a woman who, even though you had heard of her and knew her on Facebook, I had never heard of her ever at all. Um, didn't know much about mountain climbing or Mount Everest or anything like that. Um, and only had a, a, a passing familiarity with Sherpas, Sherpas uh, as the porters who take all these white guys up Mount Everest. Um, in fact, at one point she says... Which is a, it is a great movie. She goes back to her girlhood and says when the white men first came in, all these tall, blue-eyed, blonde-haired white men, we thought they were the Yeti. <laughs> Bigfoot. Right. Oh, by the yeah. way, just, just as a quick note, uh, watch documentaries. Uh, uh, we watched uh, Simone Biles, which we well, by this time will have reported right. on. Uh, and it, it was a very compelling uh, documentary as well. But I found myself, because they had her narrating part of this stuff, is laughing out loud when she would uh, remark about how she did this or that. By the way, her last yeah. name is Sherpa because she's from Tibet in the area where all the Sherpa, people who are Sherpas <laughs> come from. Yeah. And it was a man's world. And you'll, you'll see it when you watch the documentary. Yeah, ne Nepal. And everybody in Nepal yeah. who is a Sherpa, oh, I guess that's a tribe, has the last name Sherpa. Right. Uh, so... There are a lot of cousins with the same last name. Right. Uh, but it's a wonderful documentary. It is slow. It's a long documentary. It's slow, and it's uh, it takes a while to get uh, to build for for me. Again, not having known who she really was, um, but it's still interesting because it's got great footage. It goes back through uh, mountain climbing history, and it becomes evident very quickly that she was the first woman to be a porter, to be a Sherpa guide up the mountain, because it was all men up until she did it. And then she wanted to climb the mountain. Even as a little girl, she looked up at that mountain. She said, I want to climb that mountain, the mother mountain, I think they called it. Right. But a wonderful story of ambition. She's completely uneducated. Right. It takes her from a little girl to uh, a guide to uh, getting married, moving to the United States. And I, it, will we give it away if we tell how many times she's actually made this summit? Uh, we may, by the time this comes out, it may be another time, but no, go ahead. Yeah, 10. 10 times. 10 times. Now, certainly more than any other woman. I, d I haven't heard, again, I'm not a mountain climbing expert. No, 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 no. she's part I haven't of heard it. of any men who've climbed it. And very few men summit. who've climbed it. And, and there was a gap, which you understand why, because she had a very rough uh, marriage along the way. Uh, there was yeah. a gap of several years that she didn't climb, and then she climbed after she had 
children. So, yes. you know, you know we yeah. just f finished watching the Olympics where there were one or two uh, women who were competing years after they gave birth to a child because, yeah. you know, you're just, if you think you can be out of shape a couple of years after you're 22, uh, think about it after you've had yeah. uh, one or more children and, and or yeah. currently have a, a young child and you're not getting much sleep. Really remarkable. And yeah. now I think, um, and I think they touch upon it, one of her daughters went with her on her summit nine right. or something to yeah. climb with her, but they're all climbing with her. Two daughters are climbing with her yeah. now. Family, it became a yeah. family affair. She ran it as a business with her husband for a while. Right. An abusive husband, a sad story, a sad part of that story. But what a wonderful, um, not necessarily happy, but a very wonderful documentary about a, a truly extraordinary person. And it is inspiring. I mean, oh my God, if this woman can do that just because she wanted to, anybody can do anything. Right. So, uh, in fact, uh, we're now compelled to uh, want to watch people climb on television. <laughs> I don't think we're going to go out rock climbing. To, I'm compelled to talk about it. Ah, talk if, about it. If that. I have a beer in my hand, yeah. Okay. I think this is another one that uh, we highly recommend. Yes. Uh, it's probably of all the uh, reviews that we've done so far, the ones that had the highest Rotten Tomatoes, uh, both from reviewers as well as audience. Uh, I mean, it's close to 100% around. Uh, I think you're really going to enjoy it. For more on Celebrating yeah. Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.